it's Barry. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is pen test hacks, and I have a few in here for you. Hopefully you'll enjoy it. So we all know about the, with the four discs that you can get the covers to do the sticker books. And a lot of people have done those and those are great. And if you saw a previous video that I had, I had Home Helpers, and you can check that video out if interested. But today, it's all about pen tests. Now, I'm one who, you know, I really enjoy getting um, all the pen spiration and lots of other pens, um, some from the cloth and paper website. Um, I've been collecting pens for years, love pens. So the problem is I'll do the test when I first get it and then the pieces of paper go all over the place. I've had them in different notebooks. Um, I try to put a, you know, some information inside and then it's like, this doesn't make sense to have to keep the pens you know, in a pouch because how are they gonna get used that way? So I've been trying to think of a good way to keep my pen tests organized. And I think I've come up with it. And it was spurred on by cloth and paper. So first of all, I have to thank Mary from Scribble Sticker Co. for this very nice vinyl. And then I saved an earlier card, which some of you may have, uh, from cloth and paper that works perfectly for the cover. Um, I think you all know that I like to put a sheet of vellum in between. Luckily, I had two, so I had the front and back cover to set this book up. So, what I have here, um, in August's uh, Penspiration box, we got this really cool uh, post-it pad. And these just came available on the Cloth and Paper website last week at happy hour. So it's easy to get them. I've gotten myself some extras, that's for sure. So I just have the sticker book affixed right here um, inside that cover. Then I have a little bit of deco um, using some of those adhesive pockets um, on some acetate. And then I get into, some of you saw this last year when I had it on a video, but you know, if you use, for example, a lot of Tombows, well, you can look at the, at the top, you, you know, whatever, but then how does it actually look on your page? So I had made up this little card and I have part of it on cloth and paper, um, white paper, um, and then part on um, the Tomoe paper that's in a Hobonichi because it will look different on different kinds of paper. And I'm also using this type of marker on here. And I basically have them marked and you can see how the colors look. So I can keep that in here. I also have um, a transparent page flag because if I want to test any of the pens how they write on page flags that that will be helpful to me there. So here's how I have each page laid out. I took a picture of the pen um, so that it wouldn't just be by the name of it. I'd be able to easily identify it. So uh, this first sheet you're seeing is the Sarasa Dry, the Arabic Grip, and I like the point four. It's in my top three pens. If you've seen that video, you know that. Um, then I have this filled out. So like I know that it's a 0.4 nib, it's um, the type of pen is rollerball. And then I do my sample. And for my sample, what I like to do are lyrics from songs. And I've followed this for a long while uh, when I'm testing fonts. Um, I do some web design um, and a little bit of graphic work and song lyrics seem to be a good way to check them out. Um, and then there's a space for you to have some notes. And I did use, um, I know these are really popular now and you probably have one, the clean color dots so that 
um, I could fill in whether or not it was waterproof and then also give it my pen rating. Um, just seemed to work really well. And, you know, I've done this for a few other pens. And I'm just going to show you this. And this may cause you to, um, my next comment may cause you to go back and rewatch and pause and rewatch. But the first person who could actually name the songs that I'm showing you correctly is getting a prize from me mailed to you. Okay, so the next thing is I have, and this is just a little card that shows on a clear uh, transparent flag. Um, this is actually, um, Hmm, probably the ash, um, how certain pens write. So I thought this would be a good place uh, to store that if I wanted to check that out. Um, and I just have that in an adhesive pocket. And then um, one of the things that you may have seen um, on these pages is that I have a little sticker here um, that I got some custom stickers in, you know, very small in the black from Hey Planner Girl and they really work perfectly. So those are my hacks for pen test. Hopefully some of those hacks work for you. Thanks for tuning in. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do, and please follow me on Instagram. I have some links below for some of the things that I've mentioned. See you next time around.